Yo, what's good, Hot Peppers? Most of you guys are hopping into Warzone right now and preparing yourself for Warzone Pacific. And I know Warzone Pacific is out in a few days. But listen, some of you, like myself, are trying to warm up your Warzone shot and you're trying to get prepared for Warzone Pacific. So today, I got you guys with the best settings to use for sniping and also maxing out your frames on PC. All right, so the first thing I want to go over is the class setup that I'm using. Um, right now, I'm using the Car 90 AK. I know it's probably not the best sniper to use and I know it's the easiest one. But um, I know some of you guys are going to ask for what kind of class setup I'm using for it. Uh, this is what I'm using for my Car 98K. If you guys want to pause the video at any given time, you guys are more than welcome to. And then for my OTS, I'm just rocking out this. I recommend maxing out both weapons before you even slap attachments on it. I would recommend going into Plunder or um, Black Ops Cold War and just rocking on the double weapon XP. So uh, this is the rest of the class. And then I am using the Tundra. We might make a Tundra video in the near, near future. Uh, same thing with the Swiss. If you guys want to pause for that as well. Feel free to switch it up by all means. And then my last class here is just the restock. If I want to switch out with uh, overkill and use restock for like sun grenades or grenades or whatever. So now going into the settings. For keyboard and mouse, I, when I use keyboard and mouse, this is the settings that I was using roughly. Uh, I might have changed the mouse sensitivity. But uh, for ADS, multiplier, sensitivity, all that stuff. Uh, this is what I'm using currently. Um, I, I still need to mess with it, but of course, adjust to whatever your comfortability is. And then here's the movement that I have on keyboard and mouse. This is what I find best to slide cancel. I don't remember if I changed it, but I'm pretty sure it's quite the same as uh, before. So same thing with weapon equipment. If you guys want to pause the video, I don't think this is like really important to be honest. So let's go on to general already. Um, obviously, you guys know that I use controller. My field of view is 107. If you guys remember on Cold War, I use 120. But since it's really hard to see in Warzone and you need to have good visibility, you're going to need to lower that FOV unless you're comfortable with it and you're on like 4G40P monitor and you want to like rock out with 120 by all means, that's fine. Just do whatever you feel comfortable with. I feel comfortable at 107. I feel like that's a magic number for me. And then the ADS field of view from um, independent to affected because this is really nice for red gunning but also sniping as well um it basically just doesn't pull you in too much and doesn't like i don't know i, I just feel comfortable on affected and also i think i believe that uh recoil is a lot lower on affected so if you want to take advantage of that little setting man uh go for it uh brightness i would just keep it at 50 but i just have it at 52 just to make sure that this is um uh, barely visible there and then we scroll down here i don't use any colorblind um i know some people use tritonopia but um I, I i used to use it back in modern warfare for multiplayer uh so this is the rest of the settings i like to just keep the fps and the server latency on to know what server i'm on and how many um, frames i'm averaging so now for the graphics um, right now i'm averaging around like 200 to 250 so i mean i probably could push for 300 if i mess with the settings in like the notepad and like the library folder if you guys know what i'm talking about but we're not gonna get too much into that uh you want to have your display mode at full screen so that way you have less delay or basically a less input delay um and then i have a 3080 gpu you guys already know that 240 hertz uh, render resolution so i have it at 100 i feel like i can see just fine on rebirth but if you guys want to crank this up to like 120 you can it basically enhances the quality but you will lose a little bit of frames but if you feel like you're already at like decent enough frames and let's say you're at like a 144 hertz monitor and you want to like increase the quality but you're averaging like 200 frames you know if you want to sacrifice 1020 frames by all means you can um, up this up by a little bit um aspect ratio automatic which is like 60 by 9 uh and then you want to have this disabled and unlimited uh, i have it on limited because i want to know how many frames i can actually get in uh pre-game and make sure it's you know running smooth and everything uh and then for the rest of the settings this is what i'm rocking out with i'm not going to explain too much uh, i just know that when i got my pc optimized this is the best settings that i was able to rock uh for for max fps uh, real quick though nvidia dlss um i don't recommend have it on quality or like performance or ultra performance i've noticed that it's basically nearly the same fps that i'm getting across all nvidia dlss including disabled and i noticed that the having it disabled and the anti-aliasing smaa 1x um is probably like the best quality for me i had it on performance it literally looks fine so by all means i mean if you want to do quality for like 4240p monitor you could do that as well but i just find that this works best for me uh and then film grains you want it at zero and then filmic strength you want to have it at max um i believe if you have filmic smaa2 t2x you want to have filmic strength all the way at zero so um if you have one x you have it at one and then of course with motion blur you want to both off for more frames um not too sure why that was there okay so now for audio, um, boost low. I find that I can hear footsteps much easier. I have a very set direction of like where they're coming from. If you obviously weren't headset, master volume. This should be at 100. I don't know why it's at 55. Um, and then for the rest of the audio settings, this is what I use. By all means, copy it if you like. 
Um, I know some of you guys are on console, so it's not going to be exactly the same. But now going on controller, this is the most like important part of this video. So I play on tactical flipped. I play on my bumpers and I like to use the right stick to slide cancel. That's my best way to maximize my movement in this game. Unless you have a scuff controller, then you can use the paddles to slide cancel. But again, like I said before, you got to use whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, Dead Zone 0 0.06, sensitivity 2020. I don't recommend this. If you guys remember from my old videos, if you do a full 360 and land back dead center where you were just looking at originally, then that sensitivity is more than likely going to be for you on controller wise. And then for your ADS multiplier low and high zoom, I've had it at 0 0.85 for high zoom since multiplayer Modern Warfare. I haven't changed it since. And honestly, I find that it's really easy to to, uh, use for like long range. If you're playing up close to the range, then you're gonna have to pinpoint aim response curve type. I have it on linear control of variation off that. Obviously, you want that off aim assist. So, if you want a stronger aim assist, basically, you want to go down to precision or focusing. Focusing is like a lot stronger, I would say. But precision, if you want to have that AI aim assist kind of carry the way for you, by all means, you can. I like standard because I don't like too strong. I want to like a mediocre, not overboard. And then, uh, scale aim assist, you want F with FOV, you want that disabled. And then for the rest of the stuff, this is what I have use slash with low behavior. This is is really nice if you're trying to pick up weapons off the ground so contextual tab is really nice just to make sure when you reload you hold down to reload and it's much easier to pick up weapons and you know stuff like that and then for a armor plate behavior i like to just hold down triangle whatever and just apply all not just like one one at a time just makes it so, so much easier slide behavior tap really easy to slide cancel automatic tactical sprint be able to get around the map a lot easier parachute auto deploy if you know how to time the parachutes you can actually land perfectly on top of buildings before anybody else can. So you can have an advantage of getting like loot weapons off ground and be able to get that early game kill and be able to wipe out any enemies that are in your area that you just landed in. So that's pretty much it. If you guys haven't already, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you guys are new with the notification bells on. Be informed with the number one source of Call of Duty Simon content on YouTube. And before I go here, if you got this far into the video, I want to ask you guys a question real quick. What do you guys enjoy more watching? Like, do you guys enjoy watching Call of Duty Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War still? Or do you guys like watching Warzone on top of gameplay but if it's like sniping only or just mainly sniping let me know down below in the comment section i'm thinking about switching over to warzone i know it's gonna be like a crazy change but i know that if i do warzone i'm gonna have like really cracked out movement so i'm gonna ask you guys again in the future videos and you guys let me know what you guys think i want to hear you guys feedback man personally like i can switch to whatever you know i, I really enjoy call of duty just in general i just need to set a direction of what should i be doing for my future so like i said i can enjoy vanguard i can enjoy warzone i could enjoy sniping for god knows how long but again you guys let me know one's jumping off the roof now oh there's one above nice. us Okay. Woo! The dodge? Another? Oh, that was crazy. Call out to your left. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Ross crazy.